after the first two episodes a preview for the third episode of the official live action adaptation of the critically acclaimed and best selling naughty dog video game the last of us is out the first two episodes managed to captivate us all with their serious treatment of the source material and intense drama the game was released in 2013 for ps3 and instantly became an overnight success all thanks to the world building and intense suspense attached to it We will talk about the preview and dissect it scene by scene so you have a better idea of what to expect from this upcoming episode of the HBO Max series. So a spoiler warning is in order if you don't want any of the plot details from the video games, I suggest you wait for the third episode to come out and then check out our upcoming ending explained videos of each episode of The Last of Us. And if you are all caught up with the first two episodes and the game, let's jump straight into the video. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this video game, the world in The Last of Us is suffering from a parasitic fungal infection caused by a mutated strain of a fungus called Cordyceps. It invades the body of a person and transforms them into horrifying zombie-like creatures. The Planet Earth episode in which the Cordyceps fungus turned a whole colony of ants into zombies and led them to their doom served as a major source of inspiration for the game's creators. In this universe, we are introduced to our main protagonist Joel played by Pedro Pascal and Ellie played by Bella Ramsey, both of whom have previously worked on Game of Thrones. In a future society where people are imprisoned in smaller totalitarian quarantine zones, Joel works as a smuggler. Ellie on the other hand is a snarky young woman who may be the last chance for humanity to survive. Ellie didn't become an undead monster after being bitten by an infected. In contrast to everyone else in this world, she has some sort of immunity to this fungus and her blood might contain the necessary ingredients needed to make a vaccine. So the rebel group Fireflies is sending her to a research facility with the help of Joel and his partner. In the second episode we get a better look at the origin of the fungal outbreak in Indonesia through the eyes of Dr. Ibu Ratna and our protagonist get attacked by a clicker inside the Boston Freedom Museum while delivering Ellie to the Fireflies operatives waiting inside the Boston State Building. But when they reach their destination they find all of them are dead and also find out that Tess is infected. In the end when they are pursued by the infected army for being a hive mind like system Tess sacrifices herself to give Joel and Ellie a chance to escape. You can check out our complete ending explanation video of the second episode just by clicking the i button. After Joel and Ellie manage to escape the infected infested Boston Legion, we see them walking toward Lincoln, the town where Bill and Frank are currently residing. The trailer starts with Bill checking out security footage of survivors passing through his residence, and this is probably a flashback to when the outbreak started to affect his neighborhood. Bill is played by Nick Offerman and in the game he is one of the associates of Joel and Tess. In the trailer we see him at work probably cursing the federal officials and the world order they have created. Not today, you new world order jack. Then we hear an alarm going off as Bill secures his surroundings with booby traps and other fatal security measures. Bill has been living alone to avoid human interaction and the infection at large at least until he met Frank. This says a lot about his character like how he doesn't trust the humans or the government and creates a fort to keep himself safe. In the game we only see Bill who is reminiscent of his partner Frank whom he immensely loved. The reason for his absence was not clear in the game but it seems that in the show we will get a better look at what exactly happened to him. Probably this has something to do with the raiders invasion that we see later in the trailer. Then we see that it was Frank who set the alarm off and Bill welcomes him with a rifle as Frank is stuck in one of his booby traps outside the barbed wire fencing. Bill denies Frank's request for food by telling him he is not running a restaurant or a soup kitchen, but it seems he got impressed by his sense of humor and allows Frank to stay with him. We see Ellie and Joel on their way passing through several dead bodies. They are coming to Lincoln to help Ellie reach the Fireflies lab in the west and Joel is coming to get a vehicle to find his missing brother Tommy. But then we see a glimpse of the night of the invasion as the raiders try to invade his fort. Some of them get burned while the others manage to hurt the lonely survivors. This is probably the night when Frank wound up dying and this invasion might be the reason for the SOS call that Bill asked Frank to broadcast on the radio to inform Joel and Tess that they are in danger. In the last preview we saw a loose drug wreaking havoc in the town and in this preview we see it again but we are not pretty sure who is driving it we also see Ellie picking up a gun from Bill's drawers and we see her checking on an infected person with her knife probably in the basement of Bill's house the infected is about to turn into a clicker as we see fungus growing out of his eyes in the game there is a mission in Lincoln where Joel fights against a bloater but it doesn't seem to be happening here but my theory is Frank didn't really die and turned into an infected home bill couldn't kill but locked up inside his basement and somehow Ellie will set him free resulting in Joel and Bill fighting him 
The trailer ends with Bill saying that they will be fine, which is also a foreshadowing of the catastrophic events to come. In the third episode, we are meeting with Bill and Frank as our leads leads them and are currently on their way to Lincoln. We might get the backstory of Bill and Frank in the upcoming episode and the makers will probably show us the conditions in other countries. My guess is it will be a Middle Eastern nation as the temperature and humidity there might work against the fungal outbreak. It will be interesting to see how different nations are fighting the epidemic but one thing I'm pretty sure about is that there will be some major events happening in Lincoln that are not necessarily good. Anything more than that might function as a direct spoiler for the video game so I'd like to avoid that possibility. The episode will air directly on HBO and start streaming on HBO Max on January 29, 2023. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your expectations regarding the third episode of The Last of Us or what was your favorite part from the second episode. Mine was the Jakarta backstory. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of this HBO series. See you at the next one. And for the time being, we are signing off. Salamat tingal, endure and survive and I'll be back.